Hey there guys, Neil here, back with an Android app review. So, earlier this week, um, Google released a new app to help you better manage your data on an app-by-app -app basis. So if you want to control how much data your apps are using, if you want to get uh, more visibility on that, then the app called Datally will help you with that. So it's spelled D-A-T-A-L-L-Y. Um, so I guess Data Ally or um, Data, I'm not sure. But um, in any case, when you open the app, you get a nice layout, kind of like what you see here. So you get um, a toggle for data saver being on or off, managing your data, and helping you find Wi-Fi spots in your area. So if you want to connect to Wi-Fi and not use your data, then there's that option. Um, so you can see that I use Chrome, or Chrome used 24 and a half megabytes today. Uh, Amazon Shopping used two, uh, about three. And the Kindle used about two and a half. So when you click on manage data, you'll see the total. You can see how much was used today um, versus yesterday versus the day before. You can look at this week or this month and you can, it'll, it'll change accordingly. You'll get, and then you can see how much data other apps are using as well and um, decide, like, let's say I've, I'll use, um, InShot, um, I have to turn on Data Saver in order to control it, but I will, if I touch it, um, you can turn, uh, decide how much or whether that app can or cannot use uh, mobile data. So you can see all of these, the ones that are off or no longer allowed to use data. So that way um, you know that, uh, so basically when Data Saver is on, apps are only allowed to use data when you open them. So going back, you can um, share the app with your friends. If you turn, you can send feedback if you want. The uh, menu is pretty straightforward. There's not too much there. There's um, you can sign in with your account to use it. You can get notifications from um, Wi-Fi networks, bubble control for when you're using any app. So um, I'll turn on Data Saver and we'll go back to my home screen. And so let's say I want to use um, Feedly. Um, it will pop up a bubble in a second to show that okay data is being used and it will um, control or it'll tell you as I'm using the app that how much data was used um, while I use the app so you can see that um, Feely doesn't use too much app, but if you're using apps like um, Facebook or Twitter or Instagram there will be more um, uh, more ongoing notifications to help you sh see that you're using data and not using data um, and go from there. So that's pretty much the bulk of the app. Um, there is also, like I said, the Wi-Fi finder. So you can, when you open that up, the benefit here is, for example, you'll see locations near your current location that have Wi-Fi um, or have Wi-Fi on them. And it'll tell you if you want or if you are able to log in or not, um, what the password situation is. So for example, this Starbucks has web login, Pan Panera has web login. Um, Target has it, uh, Duffy's restaurant has Wi-Fi, but they require a password. Chick-fil-A has no password. So you kind of get an idea of what, um, how far Wi-Fi is around you. And if you need to get on Wi-Fi to do something, then you have that option. So that's really the bulk of the app. It's pretty nifty if you want to easily, um, disable, um, data access to all your apps and control, for example, one data Lee is on, uh, which apps have access to data, which ones don't. So if you need to get notifications and things, then, for example, you can um, disable data Lee on, let's say, Gmail and WhatsApp because you use those all the time. You need the need them to have access to data to get those notifications. Um, so that's really the bulk of the app. It's available for free in the Google Play Store um, as Datally, D-A-T-A-L-L-Y, is developed by Google. Um, I don't, I didn't see anything as far as an iOS app, so we'll see if that's coming soon or if they're able to um, do something for and or for iOS. But this is available for Android, and it's definitely worth checking out if you need help controlling your data. So again, that's Datally available in the Google Play Store for free. Um, but that's all there is for this particular review. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, want to get in touch with me, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. You can um, find the website at PatelN01.com for all subscription links, social media links, all of that good stuff. And, of course, if you want to help support the show, grow, um, help it grow, get content early, and all of that good stuff, um, you can visit the Patreon at Patreon.com slash 
uh, Patel and Zero One. But that's all there is for this review. Thanks for tuning in and watching, and until next time.